hello everyone. Today we're going to make this card. It's kind of simple. It's a couple of pieces, but for the most part it's just um, a base card with some embellishments and a little bit of addition put into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of strawberry slush cardstock. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Just to begin with, I'm going to show you guys how I did the faux stitching. So I used this, my grid mat, or whatever you want to call this thing. Alright, so I just chose a spot, and I lined it up. So this is lined up with this line, and you're going to use a ruler, and you're going to line that ruler up with the next half inch line. So. I have got it sitting at four and a half right now, and I'm going to line the ruler up at five. You're going to take your Signo Uniball gel pen. So if you look, this is one eighth, this is a sixteenth, the smaller mark, and then this is another eighth. So I guess you would do three sixteenths or two eighths. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting that right. So what I mean is that your stitches should be three of those lines in length each time. So you're just going to do three lines, do the next three lines, do the next three lines. Then you're going to flip your paper. Again, I've got it lined up with the four and a half mark, and I'm going to take my ruler and line that up with the five inch mark. And again, just three lines. There we go. That's all there is to that. The next thing I want to show you is how to do this. Um, you're going to get the basic idea on how to do these by watching what I'm going to do with this. So I'm not going to show you how to do these, I've already done them. All right, so you're going to use framelits from both the Hearts Collection and the Hearts of Flutter Collection. From the Hearts of Flutter Collection, I'm using the scallop part for this piece in particular. All right, and a piece of Whisper White cardstock. It doesn't matter. It only matters what size it is as far as making sure the framelit fits. What I did was I traced this framelit, the outside line of it, onto the piece of Whisper White. I took some of the Gingham Garden DSP. I took a few different colors of it or, or uh, sheets of it. All right, so I took this one. I took this one took this one and it took this one and this one also has some gingham on the back so I'm using both sides of this and what I did I'm just going to show you one I'm going to take one of the just a piece of this I took the one inch square punch I just took little corners of it and I did about I think I did about six of each. I'm gonna see, hopefully that will, so basically you'll get something that looks like that when you're done with it. All right, then I took my Tombow. I took the bottom part, the bottom um, gluing surface of my Tombow, and I just covered the inside of that heart. And you can go a little on the outside as well. Not that much. <laughs> just make sure that the inside and a little bit of that outer edge of that is covered. Then you're just going to start fitting those pieces on one by one by one. Then you're going to take your framelit and you're going to position it over the piece where you want it to cut and you're going to run it through your Big Shot. Pop it out 
and you have that. Then you're going to take the third from the center heart from the hearts collection framelits. You're going to figure out where you want it to cut and it's going to be pretty close but I promise it'll cut it correctly. And the best way to do that is use your magnetic platform. This is amazing. See, I put it down and it holds it. And I can shift it to where I want it to be and it's just going to hold it. And, and you'll have this, which you're going to use, and then you'll have your beautiful patchwork border. You're going to trace this, uh, this heart on another piece of Whisper White and use some of those triangles that you cut out using the Gingham Garden DSP. Cover that up, cut it out, and you'll get that. All right, so you're going to take a silicone mat and you're simply press clay and just take a decent sized chunk of it. I'm not going to show you this. I'm not going to color it in. So to color mine, to make it like this, the pink, this pretty pink, I used the uh, strawberry slush reinker, and um, then I took it and just smooth it out nicely and one way to do that is to take one of your blocks and just press it. And it just comes off the block. Make sure you color it in first before you do this because um, you're not going to want to color it unless you use your aqua painter or um, a spritzer or however you color yours. I prefer to use my reinker and roll it into it. Um, so you, you guys might have a different way you want to do it. Alright, and you're just going to take that framelit and really gently, so that you don't make a mess of the heart, you're just going to press into the clay. Okay, and then Lift it off your silicone mat. Now if you want, uh, I used tweezers the last time I did this to remove the framelit from my heart. Okay. And you might want to just press it back in. And then you can go ahead and remove the excess. Um, if you're like me, I like to use all the clay I, I have, so I would remove the excess before it dried instead of cutting it off once it was dry. Then you're going to take your Fancy Fan Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, which looks like this, and just gently, but kind of firmly, because you do want a solid image, just press over that clay. So don't press it hard enough to smoosh it too much, but make sure that you get that impression in there. Comes out like that. Okay, again, like I said, this is colored in. Um, you can use a white one. This would be really pretty on uh, a wedding card or something, but for the purposes of this particular card, I use the Strawberry Slush um, Reinker. And then I went over it again with some crystal effects to make it all shiny and shimmery like that. Pretty. Okay, and I put a dimensional on the back of that. I also did some buttons using the um, clay, the extra clay that was colored in with the reinker. And again, I shine those up using the crystal effects um, and let that dry. For that heart that comes out of the center, uh, I put dimensionals on the back of it and for that little mini one I put dimensionals on the back of that one as well. Now before I actually start adhering things I want to figure out where I want things put. I'm just going to take the framelit and it is this size again. I believe that I said this was the second smaller size in the um, framelits collection. Right, I'm going to put it on my magnetic platform. Perfect. Pop it out. Now to adhere these two pieces together, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue along the perimeter of that heart. Okay. 
Now before I put the button on, I am going to do a faux stitch around that heart. And before I put anything else on, I'm going to do that around this one as well. Okay, so that's done with that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this heart on. And I'm going to go ahead and put this heart on. Again, I put dimensionals on the back of it. And again, you're going to do a faux stitch all the way around it. Now, I'm going to take my button and I'm going to put some crystal effects on the back of it. And I'm going to go ahead and faux stitch around that as well. Okay, so again, I'm going to put some crystal effects on, the, on this button. And for the heart, I did put a dimensional on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that. Now this is a bigger heart than I used um, for the first card. I used the smaller heart for the first cards. So the first one is this size heart. You see the difference? The second one is this sized heart. So it depends on how big you, you want your heart. Okay, so now for the inside of the card, you're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and you're kind of, I'm not going to show you how to do this, I'm just going to explain it. You're going to cut it down to four by five and a quarter and you're going to fit it in and you're going to adhere it down to the inside of your card. And you're just going to trace using the pencil the heart onto that and then you're going to take your stamp -a jig and the Hearts of Flutter, this heart, this pretty scalloped kind of lacy heart from the Hearts of Flutter stamp set and using some strawberry slush ink you're going to take your stamp -a jig line it up with that heart that you've just drawn from um, traced from the outside of the card and go ahead and stamp it down and then you can erase, once the ink dries, you can erase the uh, penciled drawn heart. And then for the sentiment, I use the Timeless Talk Happy Birthday to You stamp and I inked that one up in crisp cantaloupe and then I just stamped it down right in the center of the heart. That's what it looks like. That's it. It's a great project. It's a little time consuming, but it's not too difficult. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, happy stamping!